So there are several ways that you can increase your FPS in games. One is simply overclocking your GPU or your graphics card. Another one is to uh, buy a new one. And the third one is to actually put in another exact same GPU in your system and by running them in what's called SLI if you're on the green team or Crossfire if you're in the red team you can gain in if it's a good title you can gain pretty much double the performance if it scales very well in this video yeah we're gonna be trying to run uh, two gtx 970 an sli in battlefield 5 to see if it's a game to consider if you want to upgrade your system with dual graphics cards and yeah with that said let's get started so hey how is it going guys it's robin here glad you made it in this video we gotta be testing two graphics cards in battlefield 5 to see if it's something you want to consider now adding another graphics card to your system can actually be a really cheap way of gaining more frames per second and in many times it's actually quite a lot cheaper than buying a completely new graphics card now keep in mind not all graphics cards are capable of this so you need to look this up if your card has support for either SLI or Crossfire before you jump on the used market. Now, I want to know in the comments, guys, what AAA games should I be testing in the upcoming videos? In the past, we have looked at Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Black Ops 4. Now, a few things before we get started. So, I think EA and Nvidia simply forgot about SLI completely right in the moment when they came up with the Bionic Arm or the idea of introducing ray tracing reflections in water poodles in the forest because there is no such thing as support for SLI in the game at least not at a first glance but according to several rumors DICE and Nvidia is working on a patch that will include SLI but as of posting this video the patch isn't out yet and so if you try to activate SLI through the Nvidia control panel it will force back to a single GPU every time you try and hit apply. Thankfully there is a workaround. There is a neat software called Nvidia Inspector that lets you change the gaming profiles. Nvidia is shipping with their graphics driver and so if you're wondering how it works all you need to do is to change three parameters in the Nvidia Inspector and you're good to go. So what you want to do is you want to simply fire up the software on the drop down select battlefield 5 set the SLI compatibility bits to DX10 and DX11 to Star Wars Battlefront 2 scroll down a bit to Nvidia predefined number of GPUs and set this one to DX underline 4 and on Nvidia predefined SLI mode on DX10 you want to set this one to DX10 force AFR and after you've done this you have successfully activated two graphics cards in battlefield 5 so with that said let's have a look at the results by the way now the overlay statistics that I usually like to use in, in videos like this completely broke when I was playing around with the different resolution and the frame rate and so that's why you're only seeing a simple FPS counter in this video but take my word for it the GPUs were fully utilized in all the gaming examples you're about to witness now a few things here you guys should be aware of were used the latest driver available and as of posting this video the latest driver is 416.94 and I'm gonna be testing this with my main gaming rig which features an AMD Ryzen 1700 a uh, the 370x board with 16 gigabytes of RAM running in 3000 megahertz and I'm running the latest build of Windows 10 also we're gonna be focusing on this game mode called conquest which is all about big scale maps with up to 64 players where the objective is to drain tickets from your enemy team by capturing and holding flags on the battlefield. Now a quick look at the recommendation requirements tells us that we need at least a GTX 1060 6GB from Nvidia or an RX 580 8GB from AMD. The GTX 1060 performs similar to the older GTX 980 and so it's about 20% 
100% faster than the GTX 970 we're running on in this video, so we should be able to hit 60 FPS pretty easily, even at higher details. As usual, let's start by deactivating SLI and start with just one card. And since I broke the on screen statistic overlay completely, I'm gonna be tracking GPU statistics on my other monitor. And so, we gotta be aiming high here, and everything is set to ultra and it turns out that the game actually runs pretty nice on the ultra settings and it's actually averaging around 50 fps regardless of what map i decide to pick keep in mind here we are actually running at ultra with everything maxed out and so if your goal is to just reach 60 fps in this game you're gonna be able to do that with a lot older and worse performing graphics card than the gtx 970 and isn't that nice right now it should be said i did not mess around too much with different settings here other than trying different resolution scaling and other minor effects such as vignette and motion blur which in my opinion kind of ruins the experience quite a lot let me know in the comments guys do you actually use motion blur by the way i don't even know why it's in the game for the first place it makes everything just look simply plain worse anyway let's activate sli and see what happens now with two graphics scores being pushed to its fully potential you can see that we're able to reach almost 100 fps average which means we're almost seeing double the performance with two similar graphics cards in the system with the sli fix applied now it should be said guys this doesn't come with a few issues now resolution scaling for example is completely broken and as soon as you even think about touching this you will end up with screen flicker on the screen or screen distortion also for some reason you have to activate future frame rendering which will buffer frames and increase the visual smoothness but increase the input lag and also you need to activate vsync if you don't the syncing between the card breaks completely and results in a frame rate of around 50 fps i probably spent over an hour trying to find a solution to this but i failed to do so and so until DICE, EA or NVIDIA releases a patch that includes proper support for SLI, this is something you're gonna have to deal with for the time being. Now, this is most likely not gonna be an issue for you guys anyway, since the game runs pretty nicely with these features on, and hopefully this patch will be on the way according to a few sources. You shouldn't have to wait so much longer. Now, applying this SLI fix profile change up totally breaks any form of on display statistics to show on the screen on my Ryzen rig for some reason. I tried many different softwares, but no go here, guys. So I couldn't for my life figure out a way to show you guys the stats except for just the traditional GeForce experience FPS counter. But this number is invisible on recording recorded videos so I had to seek beyond this and I ended up with using this software called Game DVR, which is a built-in recorder in Windows 10 which also has an impact on the frame rate especially when running SLI so the numbers you're seeing guys isn't 100% accurate I would say that this game is almost scaling 100% so with two graphics cards you should see more or less double the performance double the frame rate which is very nice and so to try and summarize the experience does SLI work in Battlefield 5 and is it worth it yes by following the examples on the internet how to apply this SLI fix you will gain a ton of FPS by adding another graphics card to your system and so if you can find a cheap similar graphics card on the used market it can definitely be a smart upgrade if you want to save up for the next generation graphics card maybe when amd releases navi or the next lineup of the rtx cards from nvidia I don't know. Who knows what's on the horizon, right? Now, if you're on the other hand, rather stick to just one card, the GTX 1060 or the RX 580 or the RX 590 are all great cards that you can find cheap. I'll link up a few ones down below. Now, keep in mind though, the GTX 1060 is not capable of running SLI, just for your information. Now, with that said, I want to know, guys, what other games would you like to see coming up in this series? Thank you so much watching this video and until next time have an awesome day right bye